you seem to be focusing on long-term membership and you know keeping people engaged because I think a lot of people who start an online course would think of it as uh, you know okay you pay for this course you've paid for it you've succeeded you've graduated whatever you're done goodbye and now I have to replace you with a new person and it sounds like you're really trying to keep people engaged do you have any uh, first of all is that true and do you have any you know tips to try to get people to think of their uh, you know their their online uh, courses as a way to to keep uh, people as a member rather than just thinking of recruiting new members all the time. Yeah, and it's hard to recruit new members and it can become very costly. We've done Facebook advertising and we're going to actually do some LinkedIn advertising, which is even more costly. Um, so we have we know that, you know, it cost us eight dollars to get that new member. So our goal is to keep people. We have some members of our community that have been coming back and, and active with us for probably three years. Wow. That would be the wow. average, but I would say if we could get people for a year that we're really happy. And if we can move them into our mastermind, we also have some mastermind people that have been with us for three years. And nice. so the fact that, and I put a lot of the, um, uh, kudos for that on Jen, who actually runs, she runs the school and runs the mastermind for, all for me. And so she does the coaching on that. So I've taken myself out of the equation with the idea that I may sell the school at some point and who I'll sell it to is Jen. So she's already got the relationships and everything. And so I'll just poke my head in the door once a month and hopefully collect the rewards. <laughs> <laughs>